everybody. Elisa's here. Oh man. So today I am going to get some paperwork that I need to have notarized for my critical skills visa taken care of. Um, I need to get them notarized. Um, it's been crazy the last couple of days. So yesterday I was going to make a video and I didn't because I literally was in the bed like looking like a chicken wing. Like my hand, my right hand was so, it was, I couldn't even like undo it. It was literally like, this and um <laughs> yeah it was it was real it was real out here in these streets filling out all that paperwork and the crazy thing about it was that I didn't even fill all of it out by um hand remember I was saying that I did part of it by doing the actual like fill in with a PDF file but oh my god oh my god it was horrible it was horrible um now mind you i can't blame it all on just that um filling out the application it was also a bit of a deal because i have carpal tunnel in this right hand of mine so um, it's kind of like a byproduct of my time in the military and um, army to be specific and um, it exacerbates itself so I know with doing locks and things like that it kind of um, will bother it and I, I know how to manage but the typing oh, oh man I really did a doozy I did a doozy with that so I literally like was fine I was out driving whatever and then by yesterday afternoon I was like what in the world is going on here and then to make matters worse um I want to say around about six or seven o'clock it like was completely out like I must have pinched the nerve or something and the thing about it is it's not even from um, my hand per se it's my back in the back of my like around my um, display <sighs> so anyway that tangent but I said all that to say take care of yourself while you doing this stuff guys like it's not a lot but it's a lot that sounds crazy. Um, you can become inundated with everything that you have to do, especially if you are doing it by yourself. You're trying to figure it out, um, all of that jazz, and you're trying to get everything done because you know you don't know exactly what you're doing. So you're trying to get done as much as you can and anyone sitting so that you can, or at least for me, so that at least you can um, be productive as much as you can with that day. But at any rate, my daughter helped me. I can, you know, thankful for the little things. Like I still can't, uh, like I can't do all the fancy stuff, but I can drive because I was worried because I needed to go to the bank to get papers notarized. Um, so I was able to get my SAQA application done. I want to do a video on just that application um, because it was not difficult to complete, but it's a lot of additional steps with actually sending in your paperwork and then making sure that you register with the SAQA recognized um, body, if you will. Um, 
I need to do some more research on that. I have an understanding that these bodies are professional organizations that people from different skill sets join to basically further give them a seal of distinction as being a professional in that specific area. Um, but I wanna make sure that I do my due diligence and have quality content for you, not just based off of what I per se am doing, but just the general idea of where you can go find the lists of these organizations, um, what the general process looks like and all of that. I put some emails in to get some information, even though a lot of them have where you can register on the site. I did reach out to about four or five specifically dealing with um, my area of expertise, which is business, business management, research, um, those types of things. So um, I'm gonna do a separate video about that once I get all of those ducks in the row. Um, the biggest thing to remember is that when you're finishing this process, filling out your paperwork, it's not even, it doesn't seem like it's such a big deal with turning everything in, it's getting everything. So you wanna make sure all of your stuff is lined up. So like I need to have certified copies of my passport, um, everybody that's with me passport, um, our, what do you call it, our, um, Marriage certificate, our what else? Um, ID, all this type of stuff. We need to have we need to have notarized. So I definitely would suggest that when you're taking care of all of this stuff, you go ahead and have everything lined up, ready to go. Um, if you don't have your birth certificate, the original, go ahead and fill out whatever you need from your state or municipality and, and, and get it because that may take a while, especially right now with COVID. Um, I thought I brought everything with me when I came um, from home the last trip and somehow I left one of my daughter's birth certificate, probably used it for something and then left it with those papers and didn't put it back. So six out of seven ain't bad, right? Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get everybody else's done because I could probably just walk in somewhere or pay somebody to get that one, um, one, that one done versus six or seven plus passports and everything else. I actually made an appointment to get this done. So, um, yeah, make sure that you're doing your due diligence and planning time-wise. If you are working a regular nine to five doing this, you're going to have to carve out time to get this stuff done. You have to, it's just, you have to, you have to. It's, it's no way to get all of this stuff done by yourself just on the web oh today i'm gonna do oh i'm i'll take care of this no make a plan look over the entire application see what else you need to gather get everything together and then make it a point that every day or if you're doing every weekend or whatever make sure that you give yourself time to get that stuff done